Nikolai Nikolaevich Bogolubov, Russian Nikolai Nikolaevich Bogolubov, the 21st of August 1909 to the 13th of February 1992, also transliterated as Bogolubov and Bogolubov, was a Soviet mathematician and theoretical physicist known for a significant contribution to quantum field theory, classical and quantum statistical mechanics, and the theory of dynamical systems. He was the recipient of the 1992 Dirac Prize. Topic Biography Topic Early Life, nineteen oh nine to nineteen twenty one Nikolai Bogolyubov was born on 21 August 1909 in Nizhny Novgorod, Russian Empire to Russian Orthodox Church priest and seminary teacher of theology, psychology and philosophy Nikolai Mihailovich Bogolyubov, and Olga Nikolaevna Bogolyubova, a teacher of music. The Bogolyubovs relocated to the village of Velikaya Krucha in the Poltava Governorate now in Poltava Oblast, Ukraine in 1919, where the young Nikolai Bogolyubov began to study physics and mathematics. The family soon moved to Kiev in 1921, where they continued to live in poverty as the elder Nikolai Bogolyubov only found a position as a priest in 1923. He attended research seminars in Kiev University and soon started to work under the supervision of the well known contemporary mathematician Nikolai Krylov. In 1924, at the age of 15, Nikolai Bogolyubov wrote his first published scientific paper on the behavior of solutions of linear differential equations at infinity. In 1925 he entered Ph.D. program at the Academy of Sciences of the Ukrainian SSR and obtained the degree of Candidate NAUK Candidate of Sciences, equivalent to a Ph.D. in 1928, at the age of 19, with the doctoral thesis titled On Direct Methods of Variational Calculus. In 1930, at the age of 21, he obtained the degree of Doctor NAUK Doctor of Sciences, equivalent to habilitation, the highest degree in the Soviet Union, which requires the recipient to have made a significant independent contribution to his or her scientific field. This early period of Bogolyubov's work in science was concerned with such mathematical problems as direct methods of the calculus of variations, the theory of almost periodic functions, methods of approximate solution of differential equations, and dynamical systems. This earlier research had already earned him recognition. One of his essays was awarded the Bologna Academy of Sciences Prize in 1930, and the author was awarded the erudite degree of Doctor of Mathematics. This was the period when the scientific career of the young Nikolai Bogolyubov began, later producing new scientific trends in modern mathematics, physics, and mechanics. Since 1931, Krylov and Bogolyubov worked together on the problems of nonlinear mechanics and nonlinear oscillations. They were the key figures in the Kiev School of Nonlinear Oscillation Research, where their cooperation resulted in the paper on the quasi-periodic solutions of the equations of nonlinear mechanics, 1934, and the book Introduction to Nonlinear Mechanics, 1937, translated to English in 1947, leading to a creation of a large field of nonlinear mechanics. And this can explain, as the authors believe, the need to shape the collection of problems of nonlinear perturbation theory into a special science, which could be named nonlinear mechanics. Distinctive features of the Kiev school approach included an emphasis on the computation of solutions, not just a proof of its existence, approximations of periodic solutions, use of the invariant manifolds in the phase space, and applications of a single unified approach to many different problems. From a control engineering point of view, the key achievement of the Kiev school was the development by Krylov and Bogolyubov of the describing function method for the analysis of nonlinear control problems. In the period 1928-1973, Nikolai Bogolyubov worked in the Institute for Theoretical Physics of the Academy of Sciences of the Ukrainian SSR holding the position of the director of the institute since 1965. He lectured at Kiev University in the period 1936-1959. Topic: In evacuation 1941 to 1943. 
After the German attack against the Soviet Union on the 22nd of June 1941, beginning of the Great Patriotic War, most institutes and universities from the western part of Russia were evacuated into the eastern regions, far from the battle lines. Nikolai Bogolyubov moved to Ufa, where he became head of the departments of mathematical analysis at Ufa State Aviation Technical University and at Ufa Pedagogical Institute, remaining on these positions during the period of July 1941 to August 1943. Topic: <laughs> Moscow, 1943. In autumn 1943, Bogolyubov came from evacuation to Moscow and on 1 November 1943 he accepted a position in the Department of Theoretical Physics at the Moscow State University MSU. At that time the head of the department was Anatoly Vlasov for a short period in 1944 the head of the department was Vladimir Fock. Theoretical physicists working in the department in that period included Dmitry Ivanenko, Arsenij Sokolov, and other physicists. In the period 1943-1946, Bogolyubov's recessarch was essentially concerned with the theory of stochastic processes and asymptotic methods. In his work a simple example of an anharmonic oscillator driven by a superposition of incoherent sinusoidal oscillations with continuous spectrum was used to show that depending on a specific approximation timescale the evolution of the system can be either deterministic, or a stochastic process satisfying Fokker-Planck equation, or even a process which is neither deterministic nor stochastic. In other words, he showed that depending on the choice of the timescale for the corresponding approximations the same stochastic process can be regarded as both dynamical and Markovian, and in the general case as a non-Markov process. This work was the first to introduce the notion of time hierarchy in non-equilibrium statistical physics which then became the key concept in all further development of the statistical theory of irreversible processes. In 1945, Bogolyubov proved a fundamental theorem on the existence and basic properties of a one-parameter integral manifold for a system of nonlinear differential equations. He investigated periodic and quasi-periodic solutions lying on a one-dimensional manifold, thus forming the foundation for a new method of nonlinear mechanics, the method of integral manifolds. In 1946, he published in JETP two works on equilibrium and non-equilibrium statistical mechanics which became the essence of his fundamental monograph problems of dynamical theory in statistical physics Moscow, 1946. On 26 January 1953, Nikolai Bogolyubov became the head of the Department of Theoretical Physics at MSU, after Anatoly Vlasov decided to leave the position on January 2, 1953. Topic. Steklov Institute 1947. In 1947, Nikolai Bogolyubov organized and became the head of the Department of Theoretical Physics at the Steklov Mathematical Institute. In 1969, the Department of Theoretical Physics was separated into the Departments of Mathematical Physics head Vasily Vladimirov, of Statistical Mechanics, and of Quantum Field Theory head Mikhail Polivanov. While working in the Steklov Institute, Nikolai Bogolyubov and his school contributed to science with many important works including works on renormalization theory, renormalization group, axiomatic S-matrix theory, and works on the theory of dispersion relations. In the late 1940s and 1950s, Bogolubov worked on the theory of superfluidity and superconductivity, where he developed the method of BBGKY hierarchy for a derivation of kinetic equations, formulated microscopic theory of superfluidity, and made other essential contributions. Later he worked on quantum field theory, where introduced the Bogolubov transformation, formulated and proved the Bogolyubov's edge of the wedge theorem and bogolubov parasyuk theorem with ostap parasyuk and obtained other significant results. In the 1960s his attention turned to the quark model of hadrons. In 1965 he was among the first scientists to study the new quantum number color charge. In 1946, Nikolai Bogolubo was elected as a corresponding member of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR. He was elected a full member academician of the Academy of Sciences of the Ukrainian SSR and in full member of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR in 1953. 
Dubner, 1956 to 1992. Since 1956, he worked in the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research JINR, Dubna, Russia, where he was a founder, together with Dmitry Blokintsev and the first director of the Laboratory of Theoretical Physics. This laboratory, where Nikolai Bogolyubov worked for a long time, has traditionally been the home of the prominent Russian schools in quantum field theory, theoretical nuclear physics, statistical physics, and nonlinear mechanics. Nikolai Bogolyubov was director of the JINR in the period 1966-1988. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Family. His son Nikolai Bogolyubov Jr. is a theoretical physicist working in the fields of mathematical physics and statistical mechanics. Topic. Students Nikolai Bogolubov was a scientific supervisor of Yuri Mitropolsky, Dmitry Shirkov, Selim Krin, Yosef Gimon, Tofik Mamedov, Kirill Gorov, Mikhail Polivanov, Naftal Polsky, Galina Buryuk, Sergei Tyabolikov, Dmitry Zubarev, Vladimir Kadyshevsky, and many other students. His method of teaching, based on creation of a warm atmosphere, politeness and kindness, is famous in Russia and is known as the Bogolubov approach. <laughs> <laughs> Awards Nikolai Bogolubov received various high USSR honors and international awards. Soviet II Stalin Prizes 1947, 1953, USSR State Prize 1984 Lenin Prize 1958 Hero of Socialist Labor twice 1969 1979 Six Orders of Lenin 1953 1959 1967 1969 1975 1979 Order of the October Revolution 1984 Order of the Red Banner of Labor, twice 1948, 1954 Order of the Badge of Honor, twice 1944, 1944 Foreign Awards Order of Cyril and Methodius, First Class Bulgaria, 1969 Order for Merits Second Class, Poland, 1977 Academic Awards Award of the Bologna Academy of Sciences, 1930 Heinemann Prize for Mathematical Physics American Physical Society, 1966 Gold Medal Helmholtz Academy of Sciences of the German Democratic Republic, 1969 Max Planck Medal, 1973 Franklin Medal, 1974 Gold Medal for Service to Science and Humanity Slovak Academy of Sciences, 1975 Karpinski Prize, Germany, 1981. Gold Medal Lavrentiev, 1983, for his work on stochastic processes in dynamical systems. The Lomonosov Gold Medal, 1985, for outstanding achievement in mathematics and theoretical physics. Gold Medal of Lyapunov, 1989, for his work on sustainability, critical phenomena, and phase transitions in the theory of many interacting particles. Dirac Prize 1992 posthumously academic recognition for an honorary member of the National Academy of Sciences United States 1959 American Academy of Arts and Sciences 1960 Bulgarian Academy of Sciences 1961 a foreign member of the Polish Academy of Sciences 1962 GDR Academy of Sciences 1966 Hungarian Academy of Sciences 1970 Academy of Sciences in Heidelberg 1968 Czechoslovak Academy of Sciences 1980, Indian Academy of Sciences 1983, Mongolian Academy of Sciences 1983, Honorary Doctor of the University of Allahabad, India 1958, Berlin East Germany 1960, Chicago USA 1967, Turin Italy 1969, Wrocław Poland 1970, Bucharest Romania 1971 Helsinki, Finland, 1973; Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, 1977; Warsaw, Poland, 1977. Memory institutions, awards, and locations have been named in Bogolyubov's memory. 
N. N. Bogolyubov Institute for Theoretical Problems of Microphysics, Moscow State University, Bogolyubov Institute of Theoretical Physics, National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, Kiev, Ukraine, Bogolyubov Laboratory of Theoretical Physics, Joint Institute for Nuclear Research, Dubna. Bogolyubov Prize Joint Institute for Nuclear Research for scientists with outstanding contribution to theoretical physics and applied mathematics Bogolyubov Prize for Young Scientists Joint Institute for Nuclear Research Bogolyubov Prize National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine for scientists with outstanding contribution to theoretical physics and applied mathematics Bogolyubov Gold Medal Russian Academy of Sciences Bust of Academician N. N. Bogolyubov Nizhny Novgorod Bust of Academician N. N. Bogolyubov Dubna Bogolyubov Prospect Russian, Prospect Bogolyubova Dubna's Central Street Commemorative plaque at the entrance of the Physics Department of Moscow State University in 2009, the centenary of Nikolai Bogolyubov's birth was celebrated with two conferences in Russia and Ukraine, International Bogolyubov Conference, Problems of Theoretical and Mathematical Physics 21-27 August, Moscow Dubna, Russia. Bogolyubov KYIV Conference, Modern Problems of Theoretical and Mathematical Physics 15-18 September, Kiev, Ukraine. Topic. Research Fundamental works of Nikolai Bogolubov were devoted to asymptotic methods of nonlinear mechanics, quantum field theory, statistical field theory, variational calculus, approximation methods in mathematical analysis, equations of mathematical physics, theory of stability, theory of dynamical systems, and to many other areas. He built a new theory of scattering matrices, formulated the concept of microscopical causality, obtained important results in quantum electrodynamics, and investigated on the basis of the edge of the wedge theorem the dispersion relations in elementary particle physics. He suggested a new synthesis of the Bohr theory of quasi-periodic functions and developed methods for asymptotic integration of nonlinear differential equations which describe oscillating processes. Topic. Mathematics and nonlinear mechanics In 1932 1943, in the early stage of his career, he worked in collaboration with Nikolai Krylov on mathematical problems of nonlinear mechanics and developed mathematical methods for asymptotic integration of nonlinear differential equations. He also applied these methods to problems of statistical mechanics. In 1937, jointly with Nikolai Krylov he proved the krylov bogolubov theorems. In 1956, at the International Conference on Theoretical Physics in Seattle, USA, September, 1956, he presented the formulation and the first proof of the edge of the wedge theorem. This theorem in the theory of functions of several complex variables has important implications to the dispersion relations in elementary particle physics. Topic. Statistical mechanics 1939 jointly with Nikolai Krylov gave the first consistent microscopic derivation of the Fokker-Planck equation in the single scheme of classical and quantum mechanics. 1945 suggested the idea of hierarchy of relaxation times, which is significant for statistical theory of irreversible processes. 1946 developed a general method for a microscopic derivation of kinetic equations for classical systems. The method was based on the hierarchy of equations for multi-particle distribution functions known now as bogolubov born green kirkwood avon hierarchy. 1947 jointly with K. P. Garov extended this method to the derivation of kinetic equations for quantum systems on the basis of the quantum BBGKY hierarchy. 1947 1948 introduced kinetic equations in the theory of superfluidity, computed the excitation spectrum for a weakly imperfect Bose gas, showed that this spectrum has the same properties as spectrum of helium-2, and used this analogy for a theoretical description of superfluidity of helium-2. 
1958 formulated a microscopic theory of superconductivity and established an analogy between superconductivity and superfluidity phenomena. This contribution was discussed in details in the book A New Method in the Theory of Superconductivity, co authors V. V. Tolmashev and D. V. Shirkov, Moscow, Academy of Sciences Press, 1958. Topic. Quantum theory 1955 developed an axiomatic theory for scattering matrix S matrix in quantum field theory and introduced the causality condition for S matrix in terms of variational derivatives. 1955 jointly with Dmitry Shirkov developed the renormalization group method. 1955 jointly with Ostap Parasyuk proved the theorem on the finiteness and uniqueness for renormalizable theories of the scattering matrix in any order of perturbation theory Bogolubov-Parasyuk theorem and developed a procedure R operation for a practical subtraction of singularities in quantum field theory. 1965 jointly with Boris Struminsky and Albert Tavkalidze and independently of Mu Young Han, Yoichiro Nambu and Oscar W. Greenberg suggested a triplet quark model and introduced a new quantum degree of freedom later called as color charge for quarks. Suggested a first proof of dispersion relations in quantum field theory. <laughs> Publications. Topic books Mathematics and Nonlinear Mechanics, N. M. Krylov and N. N. Bogolubov 1934, on various formal expansions of nonlinear mechanics. Kiev, Izdat. Zagolnuka. A.K.A.D. N.A.U.K. In Ukrainian N. M. Krylov and N. N. Bogolubov 1947, Introduction to Nonlinear Mechanics. Princeton, Princeton University Press. N. N. Bogolubov, Y. A. Mitropolsky, 1961, Asymptotic Methods in the Theory of Nonlinear Oscillations. New York, Gordon and Breach, Statistical Mechanics, N. N. Bogolubov, 1945, On Some Statistical Methods in Mathematical Physics. K. Y. I. V., in Russian. N. N. Bogolubov, V. V. Tolmashev, D. V. Shirkov, 1959, A New Method in the Theory of Superconductivity. New York, Consultants Bureau. N. N. Bogolubov, 1960, Problems of Dynamic Theory in Statistical Physics. Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Technical Information Service. N. N. Bogolubov, 1967 to 1970, Lectures on Quantum Statistics. Problems of Statistical Mechanics of Quantum Systems. New York, Gordon and Breach. N. N. Bogolubov and N. N. Bogolubov, Jr. 1992, Introduction to Quantum Statistical Mechanics. Gordon and Breach. ISBN 2-88124-879-9, Quantum Field Theory, N. N. Bogolubov, B. V. Medvedev, M. K. Polivanov, 1958, Problems in the Theory of Dispersion Relations. Institute for Advanced Study, Princeton. N. N. Bogolubov, D. V. Shirkov, 1959, The Theory of Quantized Fields. New York, Interscience. The first textbook on the renormalization group theory. N. N. Bogolubov, A. A. Loganov and I. T. Todorov 1975, Introduction to Axiomatic Quantum Field Theory. Reading, Mass, W. A. Benjamin, Advanced Book Program. ISBN 978-0-8053-0982-9. ISBN 0-8053-0982-9. N. N. Bogolubov, D. V. Shirkov 1980, Introduction to the Theory of Quantized Field. John Wiley and Sons Inc., 3rd edition. ISBN 0 471 04223 4. ISBN 978 0 471 04223 5. N. N. Bogolubov, D. V. Shirkov, 1982, Quantum Fields. Benjamin Cummings Pub. Co., ISBN 0 8053 0983 7. N. N. Bogolubov, A. A. Loganov, A. I. Oksak, I. T. Todorov, 1990, General Principles of Quantum Field Theory. Dordrecht, Holland, Boston, Kluwer Academic Publishers. ISBN 0 7923 0540 X. ISBN 978 0 7923 0540 8. Selected Work S. N. N. Bogolubov, Selected Works. Part 1 Dynamical Theory. Gordon and Breach, New York, 1990.
ISBN 2-88124-752-0, ISBN 978-2-88124-752-1. N. N. Bogolubov, Selected Works. Part 2, Quantum and Classical Statistical Mechanics. Gordon and Breach, New York, 1991. ISBN 2-88124-768-7. N. N. Bogolubov, Selected Works. Part 3, Nonlinear Mechanics and Pure Mathematics. Gordon and Breach, Amsterdam, 1995. ISBN 2-88124-918-3. N. N. Bogolubov, Selected Works. Part 4, Quantum Field Theory. Gordon and Breach, Amsterdam, 1995. ISBN 2-88124-926-4, ISBN 978-2-88124-926-6. Selected Papers Bogolubov, N. N. 1948. Equations of Hydrodynamics in Statistical Mechanics. In Ukrainian. Sobornik Trudov Instituta Mathematiki in USSR. 1041-59. On question about superfluidity condition in the nuclear matter theory. In Russian, Doklady Academy NA UK USSR, 119, 52, 1958. On one variational principle in many body problem. In Russian, Doklady Academy NA UK USSR, 119, N2, 244, 1959. On compensation principle in the method of self conformed field. In Russian, Uspeki Fizicheski NA UK, 67, N4, 549, 1959. The quasi averages in problems of statistical mechanics. In Russian, preprint D781, JINR, Dubna, 1961. On the hydrodynamics of a superfluiding. In Russian, preprint P1395, JINR, Dubna, 1963. See also Bogolubov born Green Kirkwood of on hierarchy. Bogolubov causality condition Bogolubov's edge of the wedge theorem Bogolubov inner product Bogolubov parasuk theorem Bogolubov transformation Describing function method Krylov-Bogolubov averaging method Krylov-Bogolubov theorem <laughs>